is that we should not be ignorant concerning death and also living and not to sorrow as people who do not have hope. So when we think about living, we live life with an incredible hope. We also face death with an, an understanding hope that it will not hold us in the grave. And we also do not sorrow as other people sorrow, but we have a, a certain confidence, a faith in God, and a belief in God because of the resurrection of Jesus and because of his ascension. Now in verse 14 he goes on to say that if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and the rising again is more than just a resurrection like Lazarus' resurrection or even Jesus' own personal resurrection. I mean, when the, the ladies came to the grave, the angel said to him, he is risen. That, you know, for in terms of risen... He, but he was still here on the earth. Uh, he's alive. He's walking on this earth. It is not the point of the ascension. It is not that incredible event that, again, that Jesus himself talked about. And we'll, we'll look at those examples of what he talked about. Because it still gives the appearance that he's still here on this earth. And there is nothing more to that. And it doesn't answer a lot of the questions that were in the people's mind. And it is also an incredible miracle beyond the, the comprehension of people. And it's beyond our comprehension today. I mean, we might be able to rise up in the air either by airplane, by helicopter, or we might be able to use a, a jet pack and float around, or we might be able to use a hang glider, but to just be standing here and be talking and then move up and continue to move and move up into the heavens, into the clouds and disappear as Jesus did. For those individuals seeing that, that was an incredible event. But it's more incredible when we understand that Jesus said, this is a key point that I have made to you before and I talked about so that you would help, that would help each and every one of us to understand who he is and the hope we have. So, again, there's more than rising, you know, from the dead. It's, it's a reality that we find in Christ Jesus who rose again. The ascended Lord changes everything in our life. So let's take a look at how this ascension changes things in our lives. Let's go to John chapter 20 and verse 17. John chapter 20 and verse 17. When we, we see here what Jesus has to say in terms of the ascension, this is before the actual happening of the event itself, but in John chapter 20, verse 17, Jesus said here in this example, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them. Now, this is interesting. We think about holding on to him. Uh, you think, well, if I hold on to him, I can go where he goes and all of these things. But what he is about to tell them is remarkable and why the second part of this title of this sermon is Highway to Home. It isn't just ascending that is an incredible miracle and something that helps us in our faith and our belief, and our encouragement to understand what God is doing in our life. But let's look and see what he, he says here in, in this example. He said, well, don't hold on me. Go tell the brothers. And this is what he says. I am returning. Now, well, let's stop and think about the word returning. Uh, returning is that you have been somewhere and you're going back to someplace. I am returning to my father and your father. So let's stop here and take a look at the personal pronouns that are used here. I am returning to my father. He is saying God is his father. But he doesn't stop there. He says, and your father. Feeling the blues today? Or tired of life already? 
Do you have questions about life or need spiritual advice? The Worldwide Church of God is located in Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and Modesto, California. We welcome everyone to attend our worship services with us every week at the times listed on your screen.